Takeshi, and you're watching Kojima Racing. All right, so this video is going to be the walk around to introduce my uh, first car to my channel. This is going to be my 1991 Mustang. Um, it's a notchback and a, surf a special service pack car, uh, which we'll get more into that later. Um, so let's get started. All right, well, first thing, uh, this was a LX car. Um, all the CHP spec uh, Mustangs were um, LXs, which meant that they were a notchback car. And so what that means is it's got a trunk. So as you can see here, deck lid. Um, and so they called them a notchback uh, because it wasn't a hatchback. And so, um, this particular car I've owned since about 2000, and uh, it's always been pretty ugly. <laughs> um, so it's been a work in progress. Mechanically, the car is perfect. Um, it's had quite a few modifications made to it. Uh, I used to campaign the car uh, NHRA Sportsman Bracket Racing, which is... Um, pretty hard on parts and so every time I broke something I would replace it with something stronger and so um, like I said before there's quite a bit of modifications that have been made to this vehicle um, but uh, now the focus is going to be on making the car pretty because it's never been pretty so um, we're gonna paint it uh, I've got a project going on here with uh, with uh, adapting a uh, 2010 I believe to 2014 California special spoiler to this car um, and when I initially uh, saw the spoiler I liked the way it looked I thought that it would match up with the body lines quite well and uh, I just ordered it without any measurements or anything uh, when I received the spoiler I set it on the back of the car and literally I mean it was quite good with the uh, with the um, with all the lines matching up the only issue was uh, basically the mounts were too short and so um, I'm fabricating currently uh, mounts to make this spoiler fit on the car and uh, I have a bit of a uh, picture history that I'll uh, post up later so you guys can see what I've done uh, to, to make this work and so um, that'll be kind of my own signature spoiler for, for the car. I think it looks really good with the lines of the notchback. Um, and nobody else will be able to replicate that unless they've got some serious fabrication skills. Um, so I do like the notchback appearance of these cars, the, the, way, the body lines, the way that it's shaped. Um, but uh, it's not very aggressive or sporty looking so um, I'm gonna go with a uh, Cobra style rear bumper where the exhaust comes out from underneath it like an LX um, only um, uh, the spoiler drops down on the sides to meet up with uh, side skirting and so this car will have uh, GT side skirting on it which there's a piece missing right now because uh, I'm currently working on all the bodywork um, I'll shave the Mustang GT lettering out of it so that, um, uh, so that it doesn't appear to be a Mustang GT because it's not, it's an LX. Um, and then, uh, I've gone with the, the GT around the front with the, uh, Cobra grill insert and a Cervini Mach 1 style hood and, um, the crystal clear style headlights. I need to replace the uh, internal turn signal uh, lenses because they've yellowed. Um, and basically, uh, that's going to be pretty much it on the exterior. I did have to fill quite a few holes, which I've not done yet. Had spotlights on it because it was actually a former CHP car. It wasn't just specced as a police interceptor. Um, so I call this car... Uh, the dark horse uh, because it will be black 
Um, it's my favorite color on a car. Um, here's another hole that needs to be filled. That was from uh, the CHP's, I believe, cellular antenna. It also had a giant whip antenna attached to it there, and, and so I had to uh, cut out the fill job that they did when it was a CHP car and uh, weld it up with metal. Um, but yeah, and then that whip antenna actually tagged into the uh, uh, the, the top of the roof line here. There was a, 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 a clip that held it in place so it wasn't just standing up tall. Um, I'm going to shave the antenna off of it. And uh, as you can see here, uh, the car doesn't have the original 10 hole wheels that it came with um, as a CHP car. It's got uh, pony wheels on it, which I've painted everything except for the trim around the edge, which there's more more to come as far as modifications are concerned for that because uh, I want to uh, switch it over to five lug, which that'll be some thing that will feature on the channel here. Um, and then go with a uh, larger replica style pony wheel uh, or possibly a speed line wheel. I haven't decided yet and that will come on the channel. Um, windows are tinted. It does have uh, um, these these window seals are pretty well done at this point. Uh, they're, they're just all rotted out of the car. Uh, as many of you Mustang people, especially Fox body Mustang people, probably already know these windows are impossible to come across if not, uh, you know, just altogether non-existent. And so um, I did find that there is a company, uh, Classic Industries, that is um, selling uh, reproductions that are licensed by Ford. So they have the Mustang script in the window. Um, and so I've ordered a set. Uh, they are obviously taking orders on them. And then when they get enough orders, then they'll produce them and ship them. Um, so I ordered the windows almost a year ago and still haven't seen anything yet. And so, uh, so maybe, you know, if you're looking for these windows, go on to Classic Industries website and go ahead and uh, pre-order a set. And uh, that'll help us all get windows for these notchbacks. They do make reproductions that you can find on late model restoration supply for the hatchback cars. Um, they're not Ford licensed, so they do not have the Mustang script in them. And, um, and so, you know, that's all that's available for the hatchback cars. Well, as, uh, uh, there is nothing like that available for the coupes or the notchback cars. So that's pretty much it on the exterior. Um, just wanted to say that every part that I'm putting on this car to modify its appearance to my personal taste are uh, in fact uh, parts that came on another Mustang or styling uh, that came on another Mustang because of course the Cervini's hood is an aftermarket piece, uh, but the Mach 1 style ducting, the Naka ducts on the hood uh, came on a 71 or 72 Mustang Mach 1. Um, so, but I do want the car to appear that it came from the factory the way uh, it is or will be uh, when it's all finished and painted. Um, and so that's pretty much it for the exterior. Uh, we'll do a quick tour of the interior and uh, then we'll get into the mechanical stuff. <laughs> 